Welcome on in, everyone. We are back, the cousins. This is Beer Talk with Kyle and Joe. I'm Kyle. What's up, guys? I'm Joe. And welcome back to the channel for yet another video. Today, we're going to be reviewing a brand new product by one of our all-time favorite companies and our all-time favorite owners, Whiskey and Hardtack, and of course, the owner is Holly. All right. And if you guys have not done so already, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you're not missing any of our future content. Hit that thumbs up or the thumbs down. If you do, let us know what we did wrong, what we can do better. We really appreciate that feedback. And of course, make sure you check out this intro. We'll be right back. All right, guys, let's go ahead and dive right into it. So we, of course, are talking about Whiskey and Hard Tax, new beard wash and beard conditioner. So let's go ahead and talk about the price of these new items first off. So uh, both the wash and the conditioner are going to go for about $25. Now these are an eight ounce bottle. I would say the price of that is maybe a few dollars over the market average, but for a quality product for a size like an eight ouncer, it doesn't bother me at all. All right. Yeah. And the presentation, Holly, I would say keeps it fairly simple, very, very classic. Um, if you look here on the uh, on the wash, the wake up call, you got that nice uh, dark label, which matches all her uh, oils and even her, her butters and things like that. And as you can see there, it's got the ingredients and she uses just about every bit of the of the label, which is always cool. And then uh, what I do like for the conditioner, and I believe it's the same thing for all her other products that are greenhorn, is you have this different color. And the purpose of that is because this is an actually unscented scent. So I do like how she made um, her unscented stand out, which is which is something you don't see often. And right. just like that, she uses the entire label. Very cool, classic, uh, you know, nothing extravagant, but uh, it's still really slick. Right. And then just to not leave any stone unturned, obviously, as you guys can see, the pump top, um, yes. we're pretty close with Holly. One thing she said, and as a consumer, I appreciate is she did not um, kind of cheap out, if you will, when it comes to the pump tops, really solid feel. You get the same amount from each pump each time, mm -hmm. which, you know, when you're spending money on products, these are things you appreciate. Also, the water resistant, oil resistant bottle. Um, I've used uh, products that I enjoyed with a cheaper label that comes off after a couple of weeks in the shower. It's really just irritating. So these are things that um, you will get your money's worth when it comes to whiskey and hardtack and these new products. Absolutely. All right. So let's dive right into the uh, scent of this wash. All right. Now talking about scent of these new products, when it comes to the conditioner, it only comes in the greenhorn. Mm -hmm. Now, the Greenhorn is the unscented product like Joe talked about in the last segment. Joe, go ahead and talk with us about the beard wash. All right. So this beard wash, the scent, which is called the Wake Up Call. And if I'm not mistaken, you can only get this scent in this wash. And it makes perfect sense. Mm -hmm. If you are uh, a person who showers in the morning, and that's when you get your very first shower, this is a scent that will wake you up, no doubt. So here's the profile. I'm gonna read right here from the site because it isn't uh, on the label. Um, and that is a blend of citrus, uh, sage, rosemary, cedarwood, and mint. So when you're looking at all those uh, scent profiles, each one of those is designed to wake you up in some sort of way. You right. know, that rosemary and that sage gives it you know, such a nice kick that cedar wood adds that like little spice element to it. Of course, the mint is the more, you know, intoxicating. And then the ci citrus actually does a good job of balancing it out first um, and putting it all together, which is, which is really cool. You have a very, very unique scent here. And even though it's like, you know, designed to really wake you up in the morning, 
this is still something that I would actually love to go to bed to if it was in like an oil or a butter as well. Right. Yeah. You know, Holly nailed this. This, it doesn't smell like her scent snake venom, but it, it reacts the same way. It yes. opens up your nasal passages a little bit, but at the same time, I would have no problem wearing this in a butter overnight. Mm -hmm. um, I love this scent. It, just like it says to, to wake you up a little bit. It's not overpowering, but it, like I said, it tickles your nose hairs a little bit. Oh yeah. All right. So let's dive right into how these products felt in our beards and our experiences in the shower with them. All right, guys. So how was our experience in the shower with these products? So we'll start it off with the wash and then we'll dive right into the conditioner immediately after. So Holly actually used to have a wash that was known to be very, very stripping. And she decided that this time around, she was going to tone that down and pretty much take away the majority of the stripping aspect of it. And that's exactly what she did. This is a wash that she was able to turn into really a true, legit everyday wash without that fear of totally taking away um, those natural oils and just and everything else you know in there this is definitely something that you that you can enjoy on you know a daily basis and not have to worry about all of that I really really think she executed that well she did for me I felt like she still did leave enough strip to truly make me feel like my beard was getting the wash that it actually needed I didn't feel like I was just putting a random product in there whatsoever um it was really 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 well executed um you don't need a lot at all it's one of those washes that it will set up a good amount um so even though you know we talked about the price being a little bit higher you don't have to use a lot so it is something that's going to last which makes it really well worth the price how did you feel about it yeah yeah, I agree. You didn't need a lot at all. Um, definitely well worth the price. I love this beard wash. I am not a stripping beard wash fan. I pretty much don't use them anymore. If I do once a month tops. Um, and, you know, just repeating everything you said, this was right in the middle. I do use this wash every single day. It, mm -hmm. it, it cleans my beard, but it doesn't strip it. Another thing I like about this, the feel in your hand is a little bit thicker than what I'm used to from a liquid wash. And I just feel it grabbing my uh, beard and really giving it a good cleanse, which I really enjoy. But I absolutely loved the um, beard wash. Now focusing in on the conditioner, which of course is the greenhorn. Um, I love this conditioner. Uh, we were lucky enough to help Holly test a few products and I'm so happy that she went with this one. Mm -hmm. This one is a conditioner that's a bit on the thick side. Yes. It's one of those conditioners that, um, you know, you rub it in your hand a little bit, you get it in beard. It doesn't completely lather. You know, it doesn't feel like you have lotion all up in your beard. It almost disappears a little bit as you're rubbing it in. And then when you rinse out your beard, it is completely soft. It's exactly what you want. When I use both of these, especially when I use both of these products together, get out of the shower, throw in some oil and some heat, my beard feels amazing. And, and, and that's what I'm looking for in a conditioner, in a beard wash. And in my opinion, Holly nailed it. Yeah. Yeah, dude, you, you, you nailed it as well, because there really isn't much left to say. I completely agree. It is definitely one of those conditioners that is on the thicker side. So mm -hmm. if that is something that you are into, uh, you may want to consider checking this, uh, this product out. Um, yeah, I mean, it's easy to work in the beard. I truly felt that my beard was soft as soon as I got out of the shower. And when you throw in those additional products to start your day off, you're going to have a really, really good experience with them. So. For sure. Yeah. Um, so that is some of our thoughts about Holly's new wash, new conditioner. Absolutely love it. Definitely two thumbs up from the cousins all the way. Um, now we do have a discount code for you, which we'll throw below, which is Beard Talk 15. That's going to save you 15% off um, any purchase, any beard product purchase, which is really cool. That is an affiliate discount code. So we will get a small kickback. Mm -hmm. So we really appreciate everyone using that to save you guys some money and of course help support the channel. Right. Um, but I think that's really, that's really it, Joe. Any closing words before we uh, sign off? Uh, Holly just keeps, keeps amazing me every time she releases <laughs> something, you know, she's it's just true. Yeah. Consistently on it with, with all her products. And, uh, 
I mean, it, it's no surprise that she continues to make, you know, our top fives and, mm -hmm. you know, don't be surprised if you see more of it. So keep right. it up, Holly. And I know she's got amazing support from her husband, Don, uh, who's also an awesome dude as well. So yep. love it. Yeah. If you haven't tried whiskey and hardtack, I don't know what to tell you. You got to get on it. Just an awesome company. Mm -hmm. So that is all the time that we have for you guys today. But as always, keep it growing. And we will talk to you at the next one. Cousins out.